Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about bobolink. Though bobolink's scientific name does translate to long-clawed devourer of rice, it is much more than that. This little blackbird, a sign of spring in bird symbolism, also eats lots and lots of bad bugs such as hungry caterpillars. Identification of the male in spring is made easier because he's the only bird in North America who's black below and paler above. Incredible bobolink facts. The bird has the nickname of armyworm bird because it loves to eat armyworms. A flock of bobolinks is called a chain. At least one is known to have flown over 1,000 miles in one day during its migration. Bobolinks use the Earth's magnetic fields to migrate, and their skulls contain magnetic iron oxide. Where to find the bobolink? The bobolinks range is in the northern United States during the breeding season and in South America in the winter. Countries where it winters include Paraguay, Uruguay, Brazil, and the northern part of Argentina. When it comes to more symbolism, the bird also represents the prairie, a habitat that's in decline. Bobolinks used to be found on the prairie and damp meadows, but these locations are uncommon now. Now the bird can be found in wetlands and grasslands where the grasses grow tall. As they are voracious eaters of grain, they can also be found near rice pastures and hayfields. Bobolink nests Bobolinks build their nests on the ground, hoping that they're hidden by the tall grasses around them. It's a shallow cup made of stems and lined with finer blades of grass and other plants. The female is responsible for building the nest. Whether the nests are successful depends on where they're built in the bird's range. Nests that are built near a forest are preyed upon more often than those built among shrubs, tall grasses, and weeds. Scientific name The bird's scientific name is the somewhat jawbreaking, Dolichonyx orizivorus. Dolichonyx is a word derived from ancient Greek. Dolichos means, long, and onyx means, claw. Orizivorus comes from Latin. Oriza means rice and vora means to, devour. So the bird's scientific name translates into, long-clawed devourer of rice. Bobolink is somewhat onomatopoeic. For many people here, Bobo Lincoln, in the bird's song. Behavior Bobolinks are gregarious birds and often appear in large flocks. When they come north to nest, the males set up territories that range from one to two acres. Territories can be considerably larger if food is scarce. The male then starts to sing its trademark cheerful and bubbly song. He'll also do acrobatic feats in flight to impress the females. During their immigration, the birds roost about an hour before dusk, then leave their roosts an hour after dawn. When they're nesting, they won't fly away but will run to attract the attention of a predator. Females don't fly directly to their nests but land at a distant location and walk to them, again to discourage predators. Bobolink migration pattern and timing These little blackbirds stay in their nesting range from April to September then head south. The bird is famous for its Herculean migrations. In a round trip of over 12,000 miles, it can routinely fly hundreds of miles in a day. It does take time to rest and recuperate on its way from one part of its range to the other. Birds in the eastern range head to the southeast, where they feed on grains before heading to the Caribbean. They rest and feed there before they head to South America. Indeed, the people of the Caribbean referred to bobolinks as butterbirds, because they were fat from all the rice and grains they ate in the southern United States. Reproduction, babies, and lifespan males show up at the breeding area first in established territories. Depending on the range, this can be as early as April or as late as June. If food is abundant, they'll sometimes mate with more than one female. Indeed, females will sometimes mate with more than one male, especially if he's younger than she is. She'll then raise chicks that have different fathers. First, she'll build a nest that's as well camouflaged as she can make it. She'll avoid building it near trees since trees can give predators a view. The eggs are also camouflaged, as they're light brown with gray or cinnamon-colored blotches that are hard to see against the earth. The female lays about four to seven eggs, but if they are lost, she can lay another clutch. She incubates them for between 10 and 13 days. When the chicks hatch they're fed caterpillars by both parents. They'll leave the nest after another 10 and 13 days, even though they can't fly and need to hide in the grass for a few more days to avoid predation. The bird lives about five years, though some have lived as long as nine. 